community centres only been here about five, seven years. Before that, we answered nothing, nothing, uh, and this is this is the hub of the, the district. You know, I mean, everybody comes here. It's, it's fantastic, actually. You know, for all, all the stuff that happens in here, it's took a wee while to get it up and running. I can do a voluntary program in here. I'm a recovering addict, uh, two year clean now after 35 years of addiction. Uh, so I'm 53 now, so I'm beginning to learn. As I said, I do a lot of recovery stuff in here, we're, we're meetings, any, CA, all that kind of stuff. But we also do a, a, a program in here called the ARC. It's aftercare recovery in the community. So it's no, it's no, it's not just about the addict. It's about the partners, children, parents. The ripple effect that peace of mind that we all take away from the people that, that love us, all that kind of stuff. But uh, as I say, I'm back early in recovery again. As I say, I do a program in here. I kind of live in here. As I say, I live around the corner. It's me and Plaster painted in here as well, you know. I mean, uh, I, I give quite a lot back yeah. because I believe, being who I am today, being an ex addict, ex con, over 10 years in jail, all, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I've changed my life around. You know, people can change if they're given a chance, are given the ability to do it. And I believe this is what White End Centre has done for not just for White Ends, for Party, for Scotston, for Yoker, because we get. Over a hundred recovering addicts in here on a Friday, uh, and it's a, a, a full day of recovery. Uh, there's massage, there's IT, there's recovery classes, relapse prevention, you get free soup. You get, it, it's fantastic. Teresa, who owns a cafe here, she's part of the group that I'm part of. We're actually on the committee and stuff. Um, it's all just volunteers. There's no bosses. It's so all just volunteers. It's everybody from the community. I now believe that the government should now realise that the answers in the community. You know, they can obviously supply the funding, which happened here. The ARP now gets like £21,000 a year we're now NH, from the NHS. So we're now recognised as one of the best recovery programmes, and not in Glasgow, in Scotland. So we get a lot of services that come from all over, uh, and they come here, speak to us, find out. Now, you need to understand the ARP was just born with 10 volunteers, local volunteers from the area, all in recovery. It was beautiful, it was really, really nice. The community's never really been involved as much as we are today in here. Now, we've got a, we've got a fantastic community-based programme in here. It's not all about addiction. You get people with depression. I suffer from depression. Bad depression. But I believe I'm getting better now that I'm on better medication and all that stuff. And I believe... I had a couple of suicide attempts as well, through addiction, I uh, wanted to die. Now I'm clean, I, I just want to help and, and, and give and, and help other people in, in my situation. Uh, my sister's a therapist, I'm now trying to get down her path. And it's not about getting a job and moving away, I'm talking about getting the qualifications and staying here. And the community in here is amazing, you know, it's really, really good. All, all nationalities, uh, and we all mix well, there's never, ever, never ever any trouble in here. It's well based, it's well, it's well run, and I'm part of the running as well, which I, I, I'm dead proud of. You know what I mean? I believe that I'm here, I, I get kept alive to hell. If I was meant to be dead, I'd be dead. So I believe I get kept alive for a simple reason. For me, I've changed, I've changed for an addict. Well, I'm always going to be an addict, I'll rephrase that. I'm always going to be an addict, right? I, my programme works a daily programme. I keep it in a day, I don't know what's happening tomorrow. But I'm alright with that. I accept I suffer from a disease, I accept I suffer from addiction. Uh, all my life I, I, I couldn't understand why I couldn't get off drugs, all that kind of stuff. And the help that I've had in this centre has been amazing. So that's why I believe that I, I became part of it. I like to help the still suffering inside and outside the room. So I'm really need to understand that arts no any any base, it's nothing to do with narcotics anonymous. This is a local community based programme that although everybody in it, probably nine out of ten attend any, which is good. We don't uh, we don't allow people to come in under the influence because it's a bad influence for kids and obviously other people, etc. etc. But the way in centre it's transformed my life. I've transformed my life. I'll rephrase that. I've transformed. I've transformed my life, and the centres give me the ability to do that. Yeah. What we change this centre? What changes everything? Money. Money changes everything. But I believe that the money that we get, we obviously a lot of it goes in rent. Out of that twenty-one thousand pound, I guarantee you sixteen thousand pound that goes in rent for this place because we take over this whole building on a Friday. Probably first this level and the next level. I take the art class. I'm a bit of an artist. Uh, 
self taught so I've got a wee art class that I stay on a Friday and the music's on at the, they call it Peter's Therapeutic the Class because it, people do what we do we like to talk I love talking I believe talking's the answer to everything you know uh, everybody's not got glass heads we can't see inside see, see it's like my programme NA it's a 12 step honest programme I'm not committed a crime in two years that's why I'm 22 months clean I believe if I do drugs I do crime I do crime I do drugs it's welded together for me, so an ex-con like myself, an ex-addict like myself, to change my whole life about, I, I think it's a miracle, there you go, I, I, I just call it a miracle, uh, and it, obviously you can tell I'm quite passionate about my recovery, I'm quite passionate about talking to people like yourself, etc, etc, because when, when you get this out the news, let the communities run the base, let the, obviously that's what you've done, I now believe that the, gov the government now understand that the methadone programmes never worked and it never will work. Being an ex addict I'm quite biased. What a lot of people don't understand is the methadone programme, a lot of the government made a lot of money off that. The government made 50p, the, no sorry, the pharmaceutical made 50 pence, the chemist made money and the ph pharmaceutical company made money as well. So everybody makes money off this. To me, they all made money after pain and heartache addicts and alcoholics, whatever way they want to work it. So for me, the, meth the methadone programme has never worked. And I, and I was on it myself for a short period of my time 20, in my life 20 years ago. Uh, and I hate, I hate this stuff, you know. Methadone's not the answer. I now believe that the government's now tippled that the answer's in the community. The answer is in the community. Now, if you'd have seen this place 10 years ago, this place was crazy. You know, it's probably like every other area in Glasgow, stabbing, drugs, shooting, you know, everything, everything all happened. But the issues improved drastically over 10, 15, 20 years, you know. Being born and bred here, that, and I'm being honest with all that kind of stuff, there was nothing in Williams for the kids, nothing. But that big part. Uh, so the community is, is uh, it's a great, it's got a place in my heart. I do a lot for this place, I voluntary, you know. I do a lot for the community, I'll give you an example. I know you're not meant to see the good things that you do, but I'll give you an example. A wee old lady, 80 years of age, 266 pounds, she was getting charged to move a bed, a, an orthopedic bed I might add, from that house, from there to there. So me and the guy in the housing, the guy Alan in here, that I think he's the top guy in the housing here, me and him done it, lifted the bed, that was selling, done it. And the wee woman's like, how much be like that? Nothing. So for me, that's community spirit.